Peace be to all. Assalamu alaikum. Omar here. Uh, I'm doing my truncated long run. I used to do uh, 13 miles, but now I'm doing like, uh, I think it's going to be about 8 by the time I finish. I'm 6 miles in, roughly. But uh, hey, um, I'd like to talk to you guys about uh, embracing the stuff that you don't like doing in order to achieve your long-term goals. Um, there was a quote, I think it was Mike Tyson said this, you know, you know, one of the things that you, you have to do, hey guys, uh, one of the things you have to do to achieve your goals is kind of trick your mind into um, doing something that you, you don't like doing. <laughs> um, but you, you learn to, you learn to enjoy it. So, for me, I, I, I kind of tolerate running, but the older I've, I get, uh, the slower I've become. <laughs> uh, that's just life, despite of what, you know, people will say with, you know, things like 50s to do 40 and 40s to do 30. I don't know what they're basing that off of. Uh, it's all in your mind. You know, these, these slogans that we hear. You know, age, age ain't nothing but a number. Age is very real. I can tell you this. I'm 54. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it, it has uh, effects on your body. <laughs> uh, but I'm out here nonetheless because my, my long-term goal was to try to do what I could within my power to have a, you know, at least a good um, quality of life as, as I got older. And when I was in my 20s, I'd meet people in their 30s saying, yeah, wait till you're 30. Oh, God. Did I got to 30? Then I'd see people, oh, wait till you're 40. Oh, that's got to be terrible. But, yeah, I kept up with my, my what I like to think are decent uh, lifestyle interventions. So a halfway decent diet. Um, and then, oh, yeah, yeah exercise trying to have a peace of mind and you know I, I dropped off a couple of years in my early 40s it was I was got really bad shape <laughs> and you know I, this is this thing called the dad bod that became very popular so I was like well I, I guess that's how I'm supposed to look you know I'm in my 40s you know but I was like I, I really don't want to look like that and it it is painful it was hurting my knees <laughs> And I felt out of breath and tired and physically weak. So I had to start, you know, training my body again. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy giving up all the junk food I was eating. It wasn't easy starting an exercise regimen. Not just starting it, but, but sticking to it. Everybody starts. There's a lot of people that are going to start their New Year's resolutions in another couple of weeks. But uh, they're going to... They're going to drop off <laughs> by the end of February. <laughs> um, so, you got to just try to make yourself engage in the stuff that you really don't want to do. It's, it's kind of chilly out here. Uh, my bed was very warm. Oh, it's wonderful. Nice covers. And then my wife and I got this kind of, it's like a special mat. It's so, it feels so comfortable. You know, your body just kind of sinks into it. And I was like, man, I don't want to get out of bed. Go run a bunch of miles <laughs> through the woods. I don't feel like it. Can't I get... I was fighting with myself. Can't I give myself one day off? I guess that was my in. <laughs> and I got some ice cream yesterday. So I was like, just have a bowl of ice cream. Lay in bed, sleep in late. It's like, no. <laughs> my super ego is like, get your aspirations out there and do this thing. And I'm not even going that fast. This is this is like an 18 minute mi per mile shuffle. But I'm here. I'm out here. Um, yeah, I, I think about my life. I wanted to do something in medicine. Um, when I graduated from high school, I had aspirations in medical school. But chemistry was killing me. I took chemistry, I think, six times in uh, high school. I flunked it twice. Um, there was part one and part two to it. Then I transferred. I flunked it twice in public high school. 
transferred to, uh, <laughs> to my parents transferred me to a prep school. Then I flunked it again, <laughs> twice. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> um, and then, you know, the teacher was tired of looking at me. So actually, I got a D, but he, he rounded it off to like a C minus <laughs> just to get me out of the class. I saw it terrible. Then I did it in a uh, in um uh, college. Same thing. I, and I don't know what it is about chemistry that would just give me so many problems. Just balancing those equations. I got pretty good at the nomenclature stuff, but it just it gave me heck. Um, and it, it killed my GPA. <laughs> uh, but I had to I had to take it, you know. Because I was a biology major, I eventually got my degree in biology and my little 3.00 GPA, <laughs> which doesn't get you into most medical schools. Uh, and I got like you know mediocre MCAT scores, but you know it was it was uh, like okay you can get into somewhere. Um, but I kept taking it again, and my dad was like, yeah yeah. You get straight A's in English and literature. You want to maybe you want to try that. And I was like, no, I'm going to medical school. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't get into med school, but I got into PA school, um, which is very difficult to get into, um, even when you consider the statistics, because uh, there's not that many PA schools compared to med schools. But um, I did it. Been a PA for a long time, and then I got my my doctorate. So. And that was hard. My God, doing a dissertation, horrible. <laughs> Going in front of a dissertation committee, very intimidating. But I did it. Yeah, back in 2012, it was pretty awesome. Thank God. Anyway, um, so you got to keep going towards your goals, no matter how hard the steps that you, the hoops that you got to jump through to uh, to achieve that goal. I've been running marathons since 96. I've done 20. So I try to do one marathon a year. I've, I've missed a few years, obviously, when I got in really horrible shape and was got busy working. But um, I started out, I didn't know how far a marathon was. 26.2 uh, miles. That didn't mean anything to me. And I was in my car and I, I looked at the odometer. I was like, my God, this is far. So I started with running 5Ks, that's 3.2 miles, then 10Ks, I think that's 6.5, then did my first 10 miler, the cherry blossom 10 mile run, and I got faster, then I did a my first half marathon, and I did my confidence level was greater. So I did my first marathon, I think I ran a 319, which ain't bad for a mediocre runner like me. I'm no Kenyan or Ethiopian. <laughs> well, this guy's on another level. But I say that to say that's how I started. Just just doing something that I, I really didn't particularly enjoy and wasn't particularly good at. But I, I stuck with it. So if you have particular goals, you know, just keep going for them and doing what you need to do to... Uh, to achieve them, even when it's hard. Hey, I guess. Oh, all right, that's it for now. Subscribe if you want. You know, I'm not a real YouTuber. <laughs> I'm no Mr. Beast or Jake Paul. Uh, I'm just a humble vlogger. Uh, if you want advice on how to become a PA or a health educator, just want some general advice. I'm an older guy now, so I've lived a pretty good life. Maybe some of the advice I have to extol upon people may be helpful. Okay, I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Take care. Peace. Hey there. Look at this guy. This guy just passed me pushing a baby stroller and so far ahead of me. That's how slow I feel. That's okay, I'm out here. So beautiful.